tonight we're going to continue our adventure on figuring out software musical instruments. Last time I found this Atmos piano plugin, which is a VST that has piano sounds, and figured out how to set it up in tracks in Reaper so that we can have the MIDI notes recorded and stored as its own track and then having a hardware send go to a second track where we run the plugin. So backing up, uh, I wanted to have something like an actual MIDI synthesizer with a keyboard that had all the different sounds and then I could control the, the synthesizer from Reaper where if I played notes on a MIDI track, the synthesizer would create the sounds and then I could record the output of those. Or the opposite, I could play on the synthesizer and record its output into Reaper and then later on send it back to the synthesizer. Kind of like what I do with guitars and reamping. Now, to make this work, I found something called sound fonts. Sound fonts are basically sampled instruments that fit within the general MIDI system for numbering. And then the complementary part, and this is the new part that I was excited about, is I found something called a sound font player. Now, this one here, for Sando, basically is a VST that I could download, put into Reaper, and then hook up as an effect, a track, like this. And then I could target import choose sound font files and then they show up here as well I guess this is the current one I have the strings patch loaded so same idea as yesterday I noticed the output volume of when this plays is slightly too low for how I want so I put a small volume adjustment on and then I have a MIDI track which I use as type MIDI to record. This takes the input from, okay, I guess I have this one set to armed right now. So this takes the input from my controller, which I forgot to show that before. I, I just have this, the LX49, which is just keys, USB port, a bunch of other buttons on the top, which can be used to control features or settings of plugins in Reaper. I haven't evolved to figure these out yet, but that's on the to-do. So having a track to record the MIDI notes, velocities, and then sending the MIDI information out to the second track, which runs the plugin, putting both tracks inside of a parent track, and then saving this as a track template. In this case, I, I just took Canon and D, because I like Canon and D and I have the sheet music. So I just started playing bits of it in. Now here, I I did just two piano parts. Piano is still new and exciting. And these are the, these are the strings. See, I probably don't need the volume boost as much. I could probably turn that down, but I mean, I'll, I'll evolve this as I go, of course. That's all I've done so far. One thing I like a lot is with the, the MIDI controller, it captures your performance, which is 
the small nuances of a note being slightly advanced or delayed from where like it's not just punched it's not perfectly aligned to the grid and also all the velocities in the bottom they represent like my finger is actually playing on them instead of me drawing in dots like in meeting notes and then having to I guess adjust these by hand which is possible but I find it takes me way more time and effort to get it sounding right or if I don't adjust it it just sounds like a computer's playing it like I mean if I want a computer to play it I can just have a computer play it I mean I don't know why this isn't working I guess it's broken but it's supposed to work Anyhow, that's all I had for now. Really recommend this. It's a Forzano plugin with the fluid MIDI font. Thanks for watching.